athletes. So talk to me a little bit, Salida, about why this cause, because you're very, you know, very cause related. You do a lot for the community. Why is this one so important to you? Well, um, I, I think it, it goes back to my mother. You know, my mother's my hero. She's always um, made sure that I understood the, the strength of being a woman and appreciated it and understood that to be a woman is very hard and I just think that you know to be pregnant is a beautiful thing and if you're if it's if it's a death wish I mean I mean if it's a death sentence in Sierra Leone then that's that's the saddest thing in the world and um, if I can do anything to help the women of Sierra Leone and the children to live past the age of five years old then you know I'm tap dancing I'll put myself on reality TV I'll do it all it's all good well you look gorgeous in that Thank green you. BCBG dress I love it. What are the colors that you're going to be wearing this season? Oh my goodness. Um, I'm, it's funny because like my nails are red and usually I'm more of a neutral girl. But I've been trying to like branch out and do a little color. Like my necklace is, this is like dangerous for me. Uh -huh. Like yesterday I had red hair uh -huh. and that was huge. I had to like convince myself. I had to create like a character and everything for her for the wig. Um, but you know, it's fun. I think it's all about being a woman. Mm -hmm. And that's, it brings me back to Shine on Sierra Leone because, you know, to be a woman, we have so much power. Yeah. Like, we can change our hair color, we can wear different colors, we can become a different woman every single day. And why not? You know? Why not? Is there anything kind of prompting this change? Or are you just feeling it? No, kind I'm of just wanting feeling to... it. I'm, uh -huh. I'm growing up. <laughs> yes. Growing up. I love I'm, it. I'm going through my transition. And what are your staples in your summer closet? Ooh, um, it's all about the flowy skirt for me okay. this summer. It's not minis are out. Mm -hmm. Tight is fun, but I'm more of like flowy, sexy, chic. Yeah. Okay, flowy, so, sexy, chic. Yes. And what's in your beach bag this summer? Definitely sunblock, lots of water, mm -hmm. um, a gigantic towel, um, probably Hermes because <laughs> they're super soft, um, and an umbrella. And oh no, it's, it's probably a baseball cap because I get freckles. Oh, you do? I get a lot of freckles oh, in the God. sun. Yeah. And what is your biggest fashion? Last year at a charity event I went to, I wore this, um, I don't remember what the designer was, but it was very colorful, it was like purple, mm -hmm. and then I wore purple um, Roger Riviere with feathers, uh -huh. and then I had big hair and a red lip. Overkill. No. Less is more. Less, Less is always more. Yes. And I overheard you saying, you know, you're sad that Oprah is going off the air. What's the biggest thing that she has done for you, or what has she left with you? You know what she's, you know, I, I, what I admire most about her is that when she's off camera, uh -huh. she always says the most, like, iconic, inspirational things. It's always real, very genuine, and it's always, like, the most interesting thing that you'll never expect her to say, but she's, she's not like every, she goes to the same, but she's been through the same struggles that, you know, every other woman has, mm -hmm. you know, regardless of where she is in her career and whatnot. You know, she's, she's worked extremely hard, and I just think that any woman can accomplish that if they work just 